What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have a vlog. I'm gonna just start it off with a few exciting little announcements that I wanted to let you guys know about before we get into a couple of the little clips. I am obsessed with shopping for the fall. It is my favorite season to shop for. I find it's the best time of year because you're able to layer lightly and just also just like get the fits off that everyone really enjoys. Light layering, trench coats, everything under the sun, you know what I mean? Nothing that is like dressing for function but more dressing for fashion. Fall is fashion month. So we have a bunch of little like shopping, window shopping type of vibes, seeing what I like for the season. Plus I'm doing a little bit of a closet clear out, segmenting into the exciting announcements that I wanted to let you guys know about. So part of these two exciting announcements, I'm going to be going live with Whatnot once again for their designer day. It's gonna be so exciting. It's gonna be November 16th. All the details will be linked down in the description box below for you guys to go and participate. I wanted to let you guys know exactly what Whatnot is. Whatnot is basically a live shopping auction platform. It's an app where you're able to bid on your favorite items, more specifically streetwear, because that's what you guys love on this channel right here. Fashion, of course. Many auctions start off as just $1 and there's always, most of the time, giveaways. It's very engaging. It's one of the most exciting platforms that I've come across in a very, very long time. It's really crazy to interact with you guys. It's just like very high energy. It's like, it gets your blood racing. It's just very, very fun. So I really urge everyone to go download the app. It's very exciting. I've been having fun every single one that I've been doing and I've only done one so far, but I'm excited for the next two that I'm going to be doing. So that's what I'm here to tell you guys all about. Right. So make sure to go follow me. I'll have my app on the screen. You guys will see how you're able to actually use the app. Make sure to go bookmark my next live show. That's going to be my personal one. And I'm also excited to announce that I'm going to be going to New York. Whatnot is collaborating with Bowery Showroom to conduct this in-person event November November 11th between 12 and 8. It's gonna be super exciting. A lot of like-minded creatives are gonna be there. I'm gonna be there in attendance and I'm just excited to be interacting with you guys on that platform and just get that engagement in there. There's gonna be a bunch of brands that you guys love and enjoy, such as like Spider, Gallery Department, all of that. So I would love for you guys to go and participate in that. Gonna be giveaways, live auctions starting at a dollar, just lots of opportunity to get some steals and deals so you guys could load up your closet and be ready, locked and loaded for the fall time. I'll leave the link to the Eventbrite details down in the description box below for the Whatnot Bowery showroom collaboration event type deal. So you guys could go check that out down below. Also, I'll leave my Whatnot page for you guys to go check out down below too. So you could follow me on there, bookmark that, and just go and download the app because it's just gonna be quite the experience. Designer day is gonna be crazy. The Bowery showroom is gonna be crazy. On the designer day, they're giving items, like other creators are giving items that's crazy as like a Birkin. Me personally, I'm gonna be giving away items like. The real deal crazy announcement in terms of what is gonna be given away on my live show is this. Are you guys ready? The the big, big, the big giveaway piece. Cause you know, we don't we don't go light. We, we only elevate last time. Chrome Heart Stagger Pendant. This time, what are you guys getting? What is my favorite item right now for fall, winter 2022? You guys already know I had to do you guys right. We're giving away this rare Balenciaga wide cut denim, people. Yes, you heard it here first. Brand spanking new. You guys know how much I rave about this denim right here. Perfectly wide in the body. Beautiful wash. Made in Italy. You guys are gonna be, yo, one lucky winner is gonna be so stoked to get this for free, bro, for free? Are you kidding me? Like, this is gonna be so exciting. I'm so stoked for someone to have the opportunity to get these Balenciaga denim, along with a whole bunch of other items, either be auctioning off for a dollar or giving away, but this is the big cojona for sure. So that's more than enough of a reason for you guys to join this live. Everything linked in the description. You guys aren't ready for this one. I'm giving away items like this Chrome Hearts hoodie right here, which is gonna be super sick. Lots of fire details. Of course, you guys know about the Chromium. I always try to get you guys right with the Chrome Hearts, as well as some Balenciaga items. A bunch of items starting at a dollar. I'm gonna try and just bless the streets. That's my plan. I just want you guys to really be able to like get fly at the easiest way possible. So this is why I love collaborating with 
with brands that actually are on the same page as me. Like they just want the best for my supporters. So I'm really, really just happy that they're willing to like work with me on this and just give you guys a, an amazing opportunity to get items that are a bit out of reach sometimes for a very reasonable price or for free. So like the last time I did the live, we gave away two Chrome Hearts daggers. Well, one extra one by accident because it was just like, it was just a crazy, crazy fluke. You had to be there. Go check out the live because you never know what will go down. You might just throw in an extra piece in there. You never know. But yeah, it was exciting. I hope you guys have the opportunity to get items like this and plenty others. We have Balenciaga sunglasses, the most coveted ones of this whole season. Chrome Hearts hoodies starting at a dollar, giving away one, a bunch of goodies from my personal wardrobe. And that's kind of where I wanted to go and start with this. The reason why I'm even so keen on doing this collaboration is because I really had to condense down my closet. I thought it was a smart idea because clearly you guys know there is a lot of clothes thing in the closet and it's just a part of the job that I do you know what I mean so it realistically it's just very smart for me to partake in doing collaborations like this because it narrows down my wardrobe it allows me to really hound in on the style that I am happiest with right now but then also on the other side of things that allows you to get access to items that are out of my personal wardrobe and that are still really 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 fire everything is super sick that's going to be available on this platform so I'm just excited to see you guys there in New York New York vlog coming soon on top of that while I'm gonna be out there for the Bowery showroom experience on top of gonna be condensing down my closet with that next live show that I'm gonna be doing with whatnot. Like I said, all the description of everything will be down in the description box below and you guys will be able to know how to bookmark and follow me on whatnot on the screen. All of that out of the way, excited to see you guys there. You guys see the Call of Duty in the background. I've been running it, I got a PS5. I'm getting ready for the winter, you know? Cheeky, very cheeky. So here we are once again at Essence. You guys know I love to shop and try things on here. It just gives me a good, well-rounded view on what I like uh, in terms of like luxury fashion. Carries a lot of my favorite brands like Rick Owens, Balenciaga, etc. And this was my opportunity to try on some of my fall favorites. So here we have this cropped leather blazer. It is so nice. You guys know. I've been hunting for like the perfectly cropped blazer. This doesn't have the peak lapels like I normally go for, but the shoulder is just so beautiful. It's very elegant. It just really elevates my whole look. Um, looks very runway and kind of suits my hair very well. Um, I'm I was so surprised how it looked with the Balenciaga trousers that I was wearing that same day as well, but it just really worked and showcased the blazer in the best light possible. Um, it was a heavy contender, honestly. A leather blazer is not super wearable in this type of cut because most of the ones that you would see are more oversized and dramatic, but that one was especially beautiful. Definitely a contender for something that I'd be going for this fall. And this one that we have coming up is this like Sherling-esque hooded jacket, not traditional like how other Sherling jackets would be. Uh, they would kind of be reversed or that fuzzy feature would be mainly on the collar. This one has all the like leather gussets on the inside where all the fuzzy parts are on the outside, making it for almost like a teddy jacket, but has the signature Rick Owens gimp style hood. I was just in awe at this point. You guys see, I'm blinking excessively. I'm super excited. Can't get a hold over myself, but yeah, just a crazy piece overall. Really great oversized, something that you could easily just chuck on in the winter time, especially out in Montreal. It just gets so, so cold. So it balances the perfect features between a hood or a hoodie, I should say, and a jacket, which is the best of both worlds in my personal opinion um i've just been wearing a whole lot of black i know it's pretty trendy at the moment but i'm doing it in my own way i don't really see it as a trend more so just dressing for the season i feel like wearing all black is the easiest thing to do in the winter because the moment you wear color it can kind of show with salt dirt debris whatever may have you when the snow starts to come into effect but the black clothes are the easiest way of getting around anything i find and the last piece here that we have kind of the piece de resistance uh, i've been hunting for the perfect fitting leather pants i haven't been able to find like either the perfect fitting leather flared ones or baggy ones and this one is kind of a perfect menage between the two they're kind of baggy yet they have that tailored flared-esque look 
They fall perfectly on the shoes and they're by Rick Owens. Perfect tumble leather. Everything is just magnificent with these. I can't get enough of them. I really want these in my closet so dearly. They're a little bit on the pricey side. So the only way I could justify these is if I really consolidate my wardrobe, which I've been doing with the closet clear out. So if push comes to shove, we might pull the trigger on these eventually, but we'll have to see, have to play it smart. Only way to do it when you're doing these wardrobe selects. Last piece was something that I was really excited about at the beginning. It was the first piece that I tried on, but I'm putting this piece at the end just for context. Had beautiful shoulders, looked really, really cool. It just isn't something that I think you'd be able to get multiple wears out of. It looks kind of seasonal. And I put this clip here for a specific reason. You always have to be mindful of pieces that are going to look too standoutish for the moment. Instead of items that are going to last you from season to season, and it doesn't matter the exact cut of the garment or how statement e it is, you could just see that item transitioning from year after year, season after season, no matter what it is. Fell in love with a bunch of pieces from that shopping appointment. It always hurts me whenever I try things on and I'm like, ah, fits so well. But anyway, hopefully we are able to acquire those down the line if everything plans out as I'm expecting it to. Chris, I want to cry. This jacket's so nice. Oof. And this shoulder is so Oof. crazy. Oof. It's so good. That's very you also. Yeah, it's so nice. Did you try the leather one? Not yet. I like this one though. This one more, do you think? Yeah. It's because I feel like this one you can wear a lot and it was a lot more wearable, right? That one you wear it once, everyone's like, okay, he's wearing his blue <laughs> But I'm sure it's gonna look great too. Yeah, I'll try it on. Yeah, it's
dive salad here. So creme fraiche, goat cheese, Dijon dressing. And lastly, we have our jambon de Bayonne. So it's a uh, ham from the south of France. Basically, with the shiro and apples that are soaked in calories. This is not what I ordered before, none of this. Yeah. This all looks so good. Cheese cookie weekend, I'm here. And also cheers to having tasted some this time. <laughs> 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 How funny it's like it's so serious. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have these. You fucking hide these. <laughs> What's your review? Two out of ten. Two? It's that bad? Oh, it's very sugary. Like exactly. Bro. That's what I was saying. Like anything twenty-five calories can be. Can yeah, it's very sugary. I mean, what is, is it Logan Paul and I KSI? Guess, uh, yeah. I mean, yo, shout out to the YouTube man. Them, that's very, very sweet. Like, very sweet. Oh, no. But I mean, they did... grams of sugar. Nah, there, there has to be something else in that. I don't know. I mean... I support them doing their thing, though. Sweet. It's not, it's not easy to start up, a, like, a Bev, you know? But... In the nine oh two. You guys stupid. Come on, come on. Come on. Look, how about that? Uh, oh! You <laughs> shit me. You're the son of a bitch. Yeah. Exactly, I'm a bitch. Get in, motherfucker. Get in, he's fucking shy. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Please. You made it, billionaire. Thank you. <laughs> Not yet, this is the first time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. A lot of bitter in here, be careful, guys. Thank you, brother. You yeah. never know. Yeah. They walk along and nobody knows. Yeah, but here we are. Look okay. at <laughs> you're a king. You're a king. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, okay, so we are right. oh, hold, hold on. fumbling the bag slightly over here, but let's go get it in order. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna be going through a little bit of items over here, ending off the vlog with a little pickup section can never hurt nobody whatsoever. I think it's always great to just give you guys a little taste of what is coming in and out of the door so you guys could get a feel of what I'm feeling for in current season without it being like a structured pickups video. This is a bit more candid, lighthearted. You guys get a better taste of what I'm feeling this time around. So we're gonna go straight through it. This is just some PR that I've received and also gifts, just to be fully transparent. But yes, I'm really excited to go through all of these with you guys. Let's go through it. So the first box, this was sent to me quite a bit ago, but this is from Lacoste. Really shout out to the Lacoste team. They always treat me really well. Uh, and I was surprised to see that this was a collaboration I had no idea about, but Lacoste and APC, really, really sick. I've been wearing this hat a ton and a bunch of people were like complimenting me on it just because the shape is so perfect. I feel like APC makes a really nice navy. No, navy is not for everyone, but the shape of this hat is just so, so good. Good canvas, really nice play on the graphic right here for the APC logo just really love the shape of this got a lot of wear out of it recently um, and i figured i'd show it on the channel so that's that next couple of pieces still from the same collab figured i'd show you guys put this away so we got this little t right here same apc lacoste logo but in a little like forest green not even forest green like olive green my bad but really really nice and also it's like in this felt type of material can't even like make that out but hopefully you guys can see, but like, yeah, it's like a felty type of print instead of your standard screen print, which is really cool. Got that APC Lacoste branding right there on the inside. So yeah, super fire. This is a unisex made in Turkey. 
got this in a size medium, had his uni size, obviously. And the last piece is this crew neck right here. This is the craziest because it's like a cream and green bars by the way really really dope love this piece right here this is fire love it this is a good collab honestly very it caught me by surprise was really impressed by everything very fire pieces this next little bit right here is by simply complicated this was actually a gift from my boy sky shout out to sky artist i style amazing very talented i'll link his latest video in the description box below so you guys could go check that out but all that to say he was sent these beautiful shoes by the brand Simply Complicated, but the only problem with them was they just didn't fit him. They run a bit big, so keep that in mind if you guys are buying these shoes from Simply Complicated. Really, now, ooh, focus is hitting right now. Crazy. But yeah, the new yellow was my color too. Yeah, these are just super sick. I can't wait to wear these more in like the springtime because obviously it's a little too cold to have your heel out in this current weather that we have out in Montreal, but the leather interior, the beautiful suede yellow, outsole um out outer of the shoe slash mule whatever you want to call it. it has the buckle back too can you put it forward i don't think you can that would be cool if you could put it forward though but i don't mind it just being on the heel but yeah this is really really sick love how rugged the outsole is too super dope can't wait to wear these in the spring but shout out to simply complicated and i appreciate you sky for the gift gave this to me the day that uh all the homies linked up to, for um What's it called? When I hit 100K. So that was really sweet of him. So shout out to him. I ended up going, yeah, this is a nine. I'm normally an 11. So probably size down to two sizes down is what you should go for if you're looking for these. Next up, two pairs of Vans. Vans team has been blessing the boy. More specifically, this one is from Essence and Vans. They did a little collaboration. They did an installation at the in-store, which is really cool. This is just this brown pair era cream outsole, cream sole brown little like chestnut type of color on the outer kind of has a little like hints of gray as well and then just like the blue vans hit right there really easy to wear this is nice with like some carp carpenter pants uh anything that's super baggy just gives you kind of that boyish skater look sorry for the noise in the background shout out to vans man it's just really really nice also shout out to geo from vans for this pair this is from better gift shop this is a vans vault pair which is a bit of their like higher grade collaborations and other things of that nature got a bunch of little like goodies on the inside here to have these like reflective laces got this little like pamphlet they gave really nice of them vans vault sticker on the shoe boom and then close that up better gift shop collab with vans have yet to wear these but these are really sick just give you kind of like hidden ny vibe nice green and cream can't go wrong with these colors ever uh, they're just so classic would go crazy with that lacoste piece that i just showed you guys kind of a fit right there might have to get that off sometime soon that's, that's a fit you guys come on you see it i might have to do something with that so yeah you guys might see that soon um great cushioned vans volt sole right there just Really classic colorway, can't go wrong with something like this. And yeah, just really excited to bust those out. All right, you guys, so to end off the vlog, I just figured do that little pickup section. And then also I just want to get into these last little tees for you guys. I feel like I always get the common, uh, amongst the common questions that I get, it's, there's, there's a couple of reoccurring things, but one of the main things is where to get a classic standard t-shirt. The best simple plain t-shirt that you could get. There's a couple of them out there. Some of my favorites, the Somar, three pack t-shirt is great the haven court uh t is amazing but all of these are brands that if you don't act fast you're not going to get them right away but some of the best tees that i would say the way that they're like constructed and everything are these that i just recently got from shackleware just the price point in terms of like what you're getting versus the quality of the textile itself and the cut is just so superior just really really great quality good washes this is shackleware's designer tee garment dyed this is like a washed out black colorway just like perfectly droopy and boxy i'm going to be trying these on so that you guys get a better feel for what i'm actually talking about but i feel like this is a good option for you guys if you're bored of your standard uniqlo cuts and everything of that nature these are just like perfect high neckline but not too too crazy not like mock nail mock neck style but yeah good like drop shoulder wide boxy flowy everything that you want out of a tee this is everything and above so i'm gonna try these on show you guys the vibes and that's how we're gonna end off the video right here so this is the white tee right here really nice super flowy like i said that drop shoulder that a lot of people like really looks nice with 
yeah so you guys could kind of see really nice boxy wide t-shirt can't really go wrong with something like this so yeah just good details good cut good neckline right here too excuse my little elastic band but yeah good essential tee also if you're like me and you want to get it a little bit cropped it takes it's nothing to like go and like do an inside tuck it's kind of a little like cheat code that i found like if you find your tees too long you do one tuck on the inside of your pant you fold it in and then you have a little crop tee boom or if you want to commit to it a bit more then you could just go bring it to your local tailor and then just slice it at the bottom to whatever your preferred measurement is and yeah but yeah just the weight of the tee the way it falls everything is just like super nice can't really go wrong i got put onto these by keezy actually i saw his video it's kind of like embedded in the whole culture of like uh his upbringing and i totally get it like you guys want to know what's a part of my like upbringing in terms of like classic standard tees i'll get it for you right now this this right here is my childhood. This is like everything you could ever ask for out of like a tea. Just cause it's like, to me, this is my childhood. This is what I was raised on. Like my dad was like always like, every week you go get your essentials, like your toiletries, whatever you may have. Then you move on to the clothes. You get your fresh Jordans for the week, whatever released that week. And then you go get your fresh pack of teas and like like a, a, like a pair of G-Stars or Diesel jeans or something like that, you know what I mean? That's like the Philly outfit back then. Right now, obviously things things have changed. They've segued onto like Amiri and whatnot, but the uppers have stayed the same. The pack of three polo tees have stayed the same. You cannot venture off too far away from classics, especially in like just, growing up in the neighborhood, you know what I mean? So I feel Keezy on this one. The Shaka wear is what his classic was for like the Bay Area. For Philly, it's like the polo pack of three tees. And I find that such a cool, unique thing about clothing. It's just kind of like things become cult classics depending on your region. So I find that really cool. And that's something that I was able to like really relate to with these tees. And they've definitely been progressing in terms of like cut and just like keeping up with the time so yeah i really enjoy this one i'm gonna try on the next one so this is the next tee this is kind of like a washed black it gives you like a slight purplish hue because that's what washed black tees look like sometimes sometimes they're a bit more gray sometimes they're a bit more like purplish blue but yeah really great wash on this one good neckline good weight to the fabric can't complain whatsoever really like this tee all right one this is some do-rag activity, Kai, you know what I mean? I know I don't do this too, too much, but I like the candid vibes with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little end bit. Some classic tees to hold you guys down. Hopefully you guys appreciate them. Check them out for yourself at your own leisure. Chocolate wear, definitely a great option for some classic tees. Let me know your guys' favorite classic tee in the, in the comments section below. And yeah, that's about it. I think I'm gonna leave you guys off on that note. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Just kind of like a mismatch of clips. Some pickups in there, some exciting announcements. It's low lifestyle, nightlife, integrations, shopping, the whole shebang, you know what I mean? Very classic Kyron vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Make sure to go follow the boy on Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E, is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that, so that's where you can check me out on there. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Deuces. <laughs>